What is going on, E Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another video. And today, it's going to be another diecast related video. But this is a special occasion because last night I reached 500 subscribers again. And I want to say thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers again. Thank you guys for tuning in to this new channel. I know it's, I know last year was hard to deal with. A new channel because my original channel got terminated last year and I had to start fresh again but hey you guys are the best fans out there thank you guys so much for the support even through my early days of my original channel and to this channel but no matter what happens I thank you guys so much for the support but today we got a new diecast from one of my longtime friends on YouTube I want to give a shout out to my longtime friend Jacob Hunter Reed uh, for sending me these diecasts, and I'm excited. I didn't expect. He told me that it's a lot of diecasts. I know that, but I didn't know it was like a big box case full of diecasts. But I think we're gonna have a new track record of me getting diecasts in one day. Thank you, Jacob. I can't wait to open it. Let's go. All right, all right, almost there. Oh my God. Yep, he wasn't kidding about bags full of diecasts. So here we are, I'm excited. I'm excited, here we go. So let me open the bag, let me get the diecast on my diecast. Um, um, studio thing, and seeing a few. Charlie, what are you doing? What are you doing? All right, everybody. So, when I tell you there's a lot of die casts that Jacob got me, oh, there's a lot. And he also gave me a note and a book. I'll talk about that in a few minutes. And, um, and he gave me a letter. He gave me a letter here. I'll read what it says. Jacob says, hey Ian, I know die casts aren't the easiest things to find currently. I have included a good bit of cars. Um, hang on, I'm trying to... I'm, Jacob, I'm sorry, I'm trying to my best to read uh, what it says. I guess ranging from the late 90s, 2019, you will definitely need these more than I do. Includes, desire, includes the book, uh, besides the book, are the following... And then he, and then he uh, writes a list of the diecast I have, and also he says, "P.S. Sorry for my below par handwriting. I forgive you, brother. Don't worry about it." So, before we get to diecast, I'm sorry for blue balling. But Jacob and I always talk about this book that I guess it's a kid that has autism. He wrote this book from green flags to blue flags, from Doug and Kenny, the story of my life. If I can remember correctly, yeah, this is the kid right here. Journey into the world of autism spectrum disorder and enjoy the ride with Douglas and Kenny, who shares his writing and drawing of his school career experiences. A NASCAR enthusiast, Doug, uh, Douglas looks at his life as a race for a good finish from green flags to blue, eventually reaching that checkered flag. Oh, man. Thank you for the book, Jacob. As a person with autism... It means a lot. I can't wait to read the book. So, we got a lot of diecast, boys and girls. And I don't even know where to start. It's a lot. It's more than... Woo! I don't know. It's more than, like, 16. I'll tell you that. So, this will be a new track record, boys and girls. So, let me get this sort out. I do apologize for the the weight. Now give me some, now give me a moment. All right, everybody, I got uh, the diecast lined up in order. So the order will be as usual as number number orders, year of and the paint skin that has been raised, and all that good stuff. So it's a lot. So it might be a long video. So here we go. So what do we have? I got the paper. Jacob, tell me uh, the information of the diecast. So first up, we got Buckshot Jones. 
Oh, I forgot to zoom in. We got Buckshot Jones, 1997 Aquafresh Pontiac Grand Prix. Cole Custer ran this throwback last year. He won it because Hamlin failed post inspection. But this is very, very cool. Next up. Um, let me see. Okay. Next up, we got Sterling Marlins, 1997 Kodak Gold Chevy Monte Carlo from Morgan McClure Racing. Next up, it is a number eight of Hutt Strickland's, um, hang on, let me see the year. Fuck. 1998. So this is Buck, um, Hutt Strickland's 1998 Circuit City Chevy Monte Carlo. Next up, it is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2006 Budweiser Chevy Monte Carlo from uh, Dale Earnhardt Incorporated. Next up, we got Bill Elliott's 2003 Dodge Dodge Enterprise from Everham Motorsports. Next up, it is another Elliott, the Sun. Chase Elliott's 2018 Sun Energy One Chevy uh, Chevy uh, Camaro ZL1 from Hendrick Motorsports. Next up, hang on, I'm looking at the um, the paper. Give me a second. Uh, crap. Oh, okay, found it. Okay, so this is uh, Phil Parsons 1997 Channel Lock Chevy Monte Carlo get a grip next up it is ricky rudd's 1998 tide um four towers from his own team the tide ride next up it is ryan blaney's 2019 monte carlo ford mustang from team penske very very awesome scheme next up it is Jerry Nadeau's 1998 First Plus Loans for Towers from Dan Marino Del Jared, or was it Dan Marino Del... Fuck, I don't know. I know it was like... Uh, I know Dan Marino was one of the owners of this car. I don't remember the driver. I, it was Bill Elliott. I think it was Bill Elliott. So, yeah. Chad Fincham ran this as a throwback last week. So, yeah. From Dan Marino and Bill Elliott. Correct me if I'm wrong, by the way. Next up, it is Clint Boyer's 2019 decalb Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing. Next up, it is Matt Kenseth's 2007 DeWalt Ford Fusion from Roger Fenway Racing. And I forgot to tell you guys, I forgot to tell you the head start, but some of these diecasts will have chips and all that stuff because Jacob did own these cars. So, yeah. Don't worry, Jacob, it's all good. I will keep them, um, I will protect them, keep them safe. Next up, we got Bobby Labonte's 1998 Interstate Batteries uh, Pontiac Grand Prix from Joe Gibbs Racing. And next up, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Carl Tomorrow Time, boys. It is Kyle Busch's 2010 M&M's Toyota Camry from Joe Gibbs Racing. Oh, this paint scheme gives me good nostalgia. Yeah, I believe it is 2010. Oh, it's 2009. Well, I still got... Well, it's still a crash my I guess. But Kyle Tomorrow's nostalgia for me. And speaking of Kyle Busch, this is Kyle Busch's uh, 2019 Interstate Batteries for Joe Gibbs Racing, Toyota Camry. The Zebra. Next up. And I'm looking at the papers once again. Next up, it is Michael Waltrip's 1997 Sitco Ford Thunderbird throwback from Wood Brothers Racing. I I know the uh, the Wood Brothers five pack throwback, and I believe it was the it, I believe it's a 2000 set. I think Wood Brothers did a five pack throwback. Correct me if I'm wrong. Next up, it is William Byron's 2019 Hertz. Chevy Monte Carlo. I, no, God damn it. Chevy Camaro Z01 for Andrew Motorsports. I do want to apologize for that mess up. And then another COT right here. It is Kevin Harvick's 2007 Pennzoil 
Shell. Um, uh, fuck. I'm, I'm Pla SS from Richard Children's Racing. Next up, it is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 1997 Sickens Chevy uh, Monte Carlo from DEI. Or was it Richard Childress? Probably, I think that had Dale Earnhardt owned this car thing. Or was it Childress? Sickens car refinishes. Axo Nobels. There we go. All right, so I do want to apologize if I keep messing up at times. Uh, next up, it is Dale Jarrett's 1997 White Rain for Thunderbird. And Dale Jarrett did own a Bush Series team when he was doing part-time. And then next up, hang on. This is Tim Fetal was 1997, is it? Yeah, 1997 Kleenex. Chevy Monte Carlo. I swear, some of the Bush schemes that I remember back then, they're underrated and some of them are forgotten nowadays. Team Feeder Wheels car is one of them. Is one of them. Like, I could do like a video about, oh, like, oh, iconic Bush series schemes. Anyway, next up, this is Derek Coops, the Coopsters, 1990. Um, can't tell. 97, okay. This is Derek Cope's 1997 Skittles, Pontiac Grand Prix. Next up, it, it is Bobby Hamilton's, what year is it? 1997 STP, Pontiac Grand Prix. And Hot Wheels did make this, so that makes sense. And next up, one of the rarest cars of the 2010s because it was a promo. This is Eric Amarola's 2014 Waffle House Smithfield Ford Fusion from Richard Petty Motorsports. I know that, I think if you were to contact Waffle House, you would get it for free. I think that was when this was like popular and promoted. I think I tried to get one of the, I tried to get this car, but I don't think it worked for me. I don't really know what happened, but hey, I'm glad to own one. Thank you. And then the only one in 87 there is in this video, this diecast haul. Thurl Wallace Jr.'s, Bubba's, 2019 McDonald's Team Bacon Chevy Camaro Z01 for Richard, uh, for Richard Petty Motorsports, and I get a free sticker, yay. Next up, if you guys know me as a Jimmy fan, I do have a special all-time favorite paint scheme, and I love it, and I miss it every day. This right here, Jimmy Johnson's 2007 Lowe's Couple Tools Chevy Monte Carlo SS from Hendrick Motorsports. This is my all-time favorite Jimmy Johnson paint scheme. And I'm glad to own the 2007 scheme. Next up, it is Michael Waltrip's 2009 Napa Outer Parts Toyota Camry from Michael Waltrip Racing. Next up, it is Mark Martin's 1997 um, Winn-Dixie uh, Ford Thunderbird from Roush Racing. Oh, crap. Next up, it is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2009 Amp Energy Mountain Dew uh, Chevy Ampala SS for Hendrick Motorsports. Is it 2009? Oh, it's 2008. Man, I was kind of close. Oh, well. Here we are. Next up, we got Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2010 National Guard um, Chevy Ampala from Hendrick Motorsports. Next up, it is Dick Trickle's 1998 Heiling Mevers for Towers. And I believe this was a cup car or a Bush Series car. It look, it, it'll, it's probably a cup car because this the 90 was owned by Junie Dunlavey. So I believe it's a cup car. Once again, correct me if I'm wrong. Feel free to tell me in the comments below. Help, some help will be... I will accept any help if I'm correct. Sorry, I can't speak English today. Next up, this is Tony Raines' 2007 DLP uh, Chevy Monte Carlo SS from Hall of Fame Racing. Next up, next up, we have Chad Little's 1998 John Deere Ford Taurus for Roush Racing. Also, I've been going a little slow about like getting a car in this video because i'm looking at the uh paper 
Oh, uh, that Jacob wrote like what year are they and all that stuff. So yeah. And the and finally the best for last for the loose cars. This is Carl Edwards 2008 Office Depot Ford Fusion for Roush Racing. So that is it for the loose cars. I do have four cars that are in this packaging that I will open. So stay tuned, folks. If you guys made it this far into this video, I want to say thank you guys for watching this video so far. If you're new to this channel, free, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Turn on my YouTube channel notifications for more content as we're on the road to 1K once again for the E Nation Army. Thank you guys so much for the support so far, but we're almost done here. We got four more diecasts to go. So what do we have here? So here we got Mark Martin's 1997 um, Valvoline for Thunderbird from Roush Racing from Racing Champions. I'm gonna open this up. I just have to take a while. Okay. Oh, it does have the stand. I whenever I had the Jeff Bodine 1994 car, it did have the uh, Racing Champions stand for the card, but unfortunately, I lost it. But here is the die cast. All right. Next up, this is Ricky Rudd's 1997 tied for Thunderbird from his own team. Let's, un let's open that up as well. Okay, hang on, give me one second. Oh, well, so this is Ricky Rudd's car right here. This is the uh, stand with the card. Halfway, folks, or halfway. And next up, we got Bill Elliott's 1998 McDonald's Ford Towers from his own team. And this is from Hot Wheels. Let's open that up. Oh, shit. So here's Bill Elliott's card. We got the little stats. And everybody knew that Bill Elliott's race team struggled a lot. But here's his car. Bill Elliott's um, team might have struggled when he was a team owner. But hey, his paint schemes will remain iconic and remembered because of how it looked. So there's a bright side of Bill Elliott's uh, race team. And finally, 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 finally. What do we have here? I'm trying to look at the year. This is David Green's uh, 1990. Mm, this is 1998, I think. Uh, Caterpillar. Like I always knew the 97. Uh, I, I mean, I always knew the Caterpillar 96 car, but I don't know. I always get confused by drivers in the series. Honestly, I am not really sure what's series is this is this a cup car this is most likely a burst series card correct me if i'm wrong folks and this is the card and all that good stuff so yeah we are about done here now let's look at the cards that we have all right guys so this is the entire die cast haul from this video from jacob reed so i'm gonna count how many die cast did he send me one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. New track record, by the way. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38 diecasts, guys. Jacob sent me 38 diecasts, 37 164s, and one 187s. Holy cow, this is definitely a new track record for me of getting die gas in one day. But hey, again, I want to give a big, big, big shout out to Jacob Hunter Reed for sending me these die casts. Jacob, thank you so much for sending me these awesome, wonderful die casts. I promise I will protect these die casts, keep them safe. And also, thank you for sending me this book. I will read this book. Thank you. And also, shout out to Douglas Kennedy for writing, uh, Douglas and Kenny, sorry about that, for, for making this book. I can't wait to read it. So that's going to do it for today's video. I thought I wanted to do this as a 500 subscriber special because who doesn't love diecast? 
And also, I wanted to do another thing for 500 subscribers, but you might want to wait on that for a few days. But, wow. This is a lot of diecasts. Like, what am I going to do with... Like, I only got two box diecasts. I can, like, put them in this shelf easily. I mean, like, no worries. But for the loose ones... Oh, man, I'm going to run out of room. <laughs> uh, but I'll think of something. So, yeah. So, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to say thank you guys so much for sticking around, watching this video. Thank you guys once again for 500 subscribers again. The road to 1K is officially underway again. Thank you all for the support. Comment, like, and subscribe for more content. Um, follow my social accounts, Instagram, I'm in press 25 and Ian press 40 and score IT. Like my Facebook page, Ian Asker 40 dash Ian Asian films. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Reddit. Uh, don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notifications. And before I forget, the links will be in the descriptions below for Jacob Reed's YouTube account and his Instagram account. So don't forget to subscribe to his channel and follow him on Instagram. Thank you guys for supporting E Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Jacob, once again, thank you for these wonderful diecasts. Thank you all for supporting E Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.